An Austin area aerospace company is headed to the moon. Firefly Aerospace is launching its very own lunar lander this week. It aims to be the first of several moon missions. KXN senior science reporter Eric Hendrickson takes a closer look at the miraculous journey. This is the first decade that we're seeing a, a commercial enterprise and a commercial push out to the moon and really a, a U.S. return to the moon in general. This lunar lander, Blue Ghost 1, will complete a years-long mission, bringing a little bit of Austin to the surface of the moon. I don't think human beings are just naturally capable of, of appreciating the full emotional spectrum of that. You just kind of have to live through it. Firefly Aerospace engineer Kevin Schultes says he's full of excitement and fear. We're right there. <laughs> The, the, moment is, the, the moment is coming. Awarded a NASA contract in 2021, Firefly spent the next four years building Blue Ghost 1. Its destination? In the northeast corner of the moon, uh, towards the edge of the moon, you'll see a, a dark crater. It's pretty sizable, called Mare Christium, or, or the Sea of Crisis. The journey takes 45 days. We do this to actually kind of use the gravity of the moon to help pull us along a little bit. After landing, several experiments will run, including drilling into the lunar surface and testing the moon's electromagnetic environment. Blue Ghost 1 is one of three missions from the company, the second of which will travel to the far side of the moon. It's dark from radio interference from the Earth, from all of our human activity, all of our cell phones, all of our radio broadcasts. It's dark there, and it makes a great place to observe radio astronomy on the far side. These moon missions will each have a ticking clock. When the daylight is gone, that plunges the area into an abyssal cryogenic dark, minus 250 degrees. With only two weeks of daylight on the moon's surface, Blue Ghost 1 can't be late to its final destination. So when the night comes, that is end of mission. In Austin, Eric Hendrickson, KXAN News. And Blue Ghost 1 is scheduled to launch from Cape Canaveral on Wednesday, just after midnight. The company's next lunar mission, Blue Ghost 2, is scheduled for 2026. Uh, going in depth, Firefly is one of several private aerospace companies collaborating with NASA. The space agency works with companies such as Blue Origin, Boeing, and SpaceX. And as the landscape of the aerospace industry changes to a more privatized focus, Texas is leading the way. Last year, the Texas Space Commission officially launched. It plans to distribute $150 million toward the development of the space industry here in the state. And it also provided $200 million toward the Texas A&M Space Institute, which is tasked with designing lunar landers, rovers, and habitats for future lunar and Martian explorations.